Hi, I'm Paul. I'm Tammy. And we're, we're inseparable. And so today is installment three on limerence. And, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, songs out there about winning and losing in love. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot more songs about losing than, than winning, you know, woe is me, <laughs> you know, but people like the blues. So, um, but, you know, in a, in a, uh, limerent relationship and, and one where there's a significant other involved, uh, the limerent, the limerent object mm -hmm. or the significant other, which one wins in that situation? Well, none of them. <laughs> none of them. No, it's, it's the losing thing for everybody. Well, maybe with one exception, if the significant other was looking to get rid of his uh, limerent wife or husband or mm -hmm. her husband, um, then it might be to their advantage because then they would have the excuse, do not use this as an excuse. Mm -hmm. A lot of times when you get involved in limerence, you'll begin to villainize your spouse. Yeah. And when you do that, you'll say, oh, well, my spouse will be happy because he or she, you know, they want to get rid of me anyway, so they'll be good riddance and have a smile on their face when I tell them that I found somebody new. No, that's not going to happen. Well, it might, but <laughs> the chances, you know, don't use that as an excuse. Find out. Right. Talk to them, yeah. Talk to them. Yeah. You know, you're done with me, you're sick of me, why are you ignoring me? Uh, that might be the answer, you know, mm -hmm. instead of just assuming that it's true because... A lot of times with limerence, you tell you think you tell yourself lies to justify mm -hmm. going along with the chemicals. But there is one person here, and hey, ain't nobody feeling sorry for you. And that's the person that gets involved with a married limerent. Or it doesn't even have to be a limerent. It could be um, just a regular affair. Mm -hmm. You know, if you choose to date a married person and you end up with a broken heart, don't go boo-hooing, we're going to be sorry for you. You got what you deserved, and you know, you better watch out, because if she's limerent, they kind of like to tell their husbands about it after the fact. There's a lot of guilt involved, and they tend to confess, mm -hmm. and you know, watch out, because if the husband uh, sees you as the villain, you better hope he doesn't have a handgun. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I've been through this in my younger years, so, you know, when I was around my 20s, it just happened a few times, and they all went back and told their husbands, they were the ones that got a hold of me, they're the ones that set up the meeting, and then afterwards they tell me they're going back to their husband, and they've already told their husband about giving my contact information. <laughs> You know, so you you better watch yourself. This is not the free fun ride that you think it is. And, you know, if they're all gaga and crazy over you, it's probably limerence, it's probably not you. And when one day when they snap out of it, you're gonna end up with a broken heart. Thankfully, the times that it happened when I was involved, I wasn't deeply emotionally involved in it, so it wasn't a big deal to me. And mm -hmm. what do you think, anything or? No, I don't really have much to add, no. That, that's just, uh, you know, sounds right? Yeah, sounds right, yeah. Yeah, you know, I mean, everything that we, we've we learned and stuff like that. So, you know, just a simple short installment today. We try to keep it simple and short um, so you can digest it and, you know, every day get a little dose of it. So <laughs> thanks for watching. Take care. God bless. <laughs> we love you. Bye. Bye.